Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our Happy Friday show. Happy Friday, happy Friday, yay! Uh, we are three of us in the studio today. Say hello to Mr. HP and Andrea is running the show today with a little help. Hey, people. Hey, people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are celebrating, lots to celebrate this weekend, of course. We are early because Mr. HP has to run out of here and do a little gig. And um, at Paisley Park, because it's the Prince celebration this weekend. Um, that is celebrating Prince and all his accomplishments from start at last night and going through Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. Correct. And so um, he's got his big show tomorrow night, though. Today you're doing what? Studio sessions? Mm -hmm. Studio sessions um, where people get to listen in and hear some unreleased stuff, right? Uh, and the musicians... Play. So that's going to be really, really cool for those that get to experience that. Uh, we saw the big unveiling of the new mural downtown last night. It's a huge mural of Prince. It was unveiled just like six stories. It's incredible. Incredible artwork. Um, the guy that did that. Do you remember his name? No? He, he uh, <laughs> was, his name is like uh, Hero. He, Hero. Okay, yes. So if you're ever in the Minneapolis area, downtown, please go check it out. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It's amazing what this artist did on a, on a wall. But thank you all for being here. Now, other celebrations going on in the world, of course, across the pond, there's the big Jubilee, uh, Queen's Jubilee. So congrats on that and everybody across the pond. Yeah, congrats, congrats. So thank you for being with us extra early, extra early on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you um, hit those hearts and thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We decided, since this is a bit early, what's the perfect cocktail for an early morning? And that is, of course, a mimosa. So we have mimosas on the set. Now, since it's going to be a really long day and some people have to be real focused, I made virgin mimosas, but normally, of course, I would use some champagne, um, it, what, whatever juice of your choice, and I like to put some kind of a liqueur in, in my mimosas, like an orange liqueur, usually. But these, cheers, <laughs> these are made with sparkling water and a little bit of pineapple juice, a little bit of orange juice. Really tasty and keep your mind fresh for the rest of the day. Almost like the real deal. Not quite, but still refreshing. So always a great great idea if um, you have people that don't want to have the champagne, just use sparkling water. All right, so let's talk about, um, oh, I think Mr. HP has a word of the day. And I think I know what it is. What is your word of the day? You're going to have to explain this one to people. <laughs> it is. Oh. <laughs> funky, 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 not funky, like F-U-N-K, but funky. All right, well, you got to explain to them the difference between F-U-N-K-Y or F-O-N-K-Y. Well, a lot of people spell them the same when they say... Well, oh, so they sound the same? Well, that's how you say it. Okay. So that's how I spell it. So funky, <laughs> F-U-N-K, could be a couple things. Uh-huh. We, you know, it could be funky music, it could be funky feet, it could be something that's very stinky. <laughs> but when you say funky, F-O-N-K-Y, you know it's just funky music. Yeah. Music. Like extra. Really funky. <laughs> and you're going to be doing a lot of playing we're of that kind of music. Some, we're we're going to be playing some real funky music. F-O-N-K-Y. All right. Not donkey. <laughs> not wonky. No, let's hope not. Funky, F with an F. Yes. Not and a lot of head bopping. And not funky. No. Like F, he was funky with an O. <laughs> okay. Um, you're a funky man. Funky. <laughs> so does that, that must include a lot of head bopping when oh, yeah. the music is real funky. Yeah. Right? Like hard head bobs. <laughs> really yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right, so put that one new one in your dictionary. So uh, quilts behind me. Let's check out this one right behind me. This is uh, Marina. This is from my book, uh, First Stripology Mixology. And this is a brand new kit we have in the store. Yes, I love to kind of, the, the quilt I made in the book was a collection of all kinds of nautical themed fabrics and um, just really great colors and the reds and the blues and the white. And uh, so I always, I'm on the lookout to create kits um, and create uh, something similar to the book. So I found this beautiful line called At the Helm and then I added a few more uh, prints and fabrics to create this kit. So the kit makes a twin slash full size. So it's about 73, between 73, uh, three, 73 and a half inches wide. Um, so it is a great bed quilt, kind of in between a twin and a full, like a large twin or, or, um, or a full coverlet. So really love it. It's available. Um, of course, the pattern is sold separately because it is in the book. Um, so if you have the book, all good. But if you don't, um, easy to add. We have it both in printed format or, or um, as a ebook too. So then we have in the corner, that is my Valerie quilt made in the red, white, and blue. Unfortunately, we're out of that bundle. It's the Lulu bundle. But I just think we're kind of in this summer getting ready for 4th of July sewing. Um, so I thought I would include that. And then we have two-timer B on the cabinet over here. That one is made with a uh, little Matryoshka bundle. Hi, Kobe. Kobe's on the set making some noise. So uh, those are on the wall. Let me show you the, the bundle or the uh, kit we have. It's gorgeous. So here's the kit. We have all of the fabric. So what I did for um, one set of blocks, I used the, the lights and the reds. And then for the other set of blocks, I used the light blues and the dark blues. So for the one set of blocks for the reds and the, and the lights, I used the navy accent color, which is back here. And then for the blues, I used the white. And then it has this awesome stripe for the, for the binding. And what I did, so this print that is used in the quilt, we have this one also in three yards and one yards. So this one I use for the backing. And like this size, the, uh, the twin full size, it was perfect to use two, three yards for the back. So it's really festive and just perfect for the theme. So really love this. Brand new in the store. Now, the main thing I wanted to talk about today is it is our one year anniversary of Color Club. So June 5th, last year, we shipped out our first Color Club packs. Of course, we when we launched the club, I believe uh, we sold out in about 24 hours. Our spots sold out really, really fast. And just to kind of take a little walk down memory lane, only a year ago, here's our promo video, which we kind of through together, you know, I had this vision in my in my brain how this club was going to work, and and so here's where we were a year ago when we introduced the Color Club to you. So check out the video. Do you find yourself searching through your fabric stash for the perfect coordinates? Do you strive to be more confident in your color combinations? If you answered yes or just love fabric, then a subscription to Goodies Color Club is for you. When you subscribe, you'll receive five fabulous half yards of fabrics delivered to your door once a month. I've curated colors for each month around something that inspires me. Sometimes it's a place, sometimes it's a favorite thing, maybe food or a cocktail. I share personal insights about color theory and you'll begin to understand what colors work well together and why, all the while building your fabric collection into something special from where you can pull fabrics to work with any fabric line. In addition to receiving five half yards in the color of each month's theme, varying in prints and texture, I will suggest good pairings for that grouping, as well as short lessons on the color and what it stands for. Build your fabric collection so you'll be set when inspiration hits. There it is. And so to go further down memory lane, 
I have all 12 color clubs from the first year to visit, revisit, and I want to tell you, so we actually have a few of those available in the store. So if you missed out on color club or you st didn't start at the beginning, we have a few packs available in the store still. So um, if you go to the website and you go to shop, there's now a separate link that says Goodies Color Club. It will have the subscription but of course it's sold out at the moment. We are opening up a whole bunch of spots in the middle of July though. So make sure you can click on that subscription if you wanna make be notified, click on it, and then just fill in your email um, That's where it says notify me when back in stock. So, but the other packs that are available are also under that link so you can see what we have. So let's start with June 2021 was our first pack. Now, there was a little situation, of course, we all now, now know very well and very aware of now how our uh, supply chain situations have altered our reality. And so we actually were faced with that right away when we were going to ship Color Club, our first pack. All the fabrics for the June weren't there. So we actually swapped and sent you July's pack in June and then you got June pack in July. But we're gonna, how, I'm, I'm gonna show you how it was intended to be. So the first one I, I wanted to do was Lagoon. So here's the inspiration photo. I've always loved these blue-green shades of teal. Um, so, so I wanted to put together that kind of pack. So this was the first one, Lagoon, with these beautiful aqua teal colors. The second one, which you actually got first, was our watermelon. So middle of summer, of course, fresh, kind of this pinkish red color hue. And then, um, of course, I, I love different textures. I love this one because it really looks like, a, like the flesh of the watermelon or the inside of the wa watermelon. Then we move on to August. And inspiration for August was honey. So beautiful honey uh, colored fabrics, these deep, deeper golds um, in different hues. Then moving on into September, my inspiration was moss. And of course the photo had to be from beautiful mossy lava flows in Iceland. So I love this, this color of green, just creates so much kind of calmness and, and and kind of, yeah, happiness, really. Green, green and, well, it's not quite money green, though. <laughs> then we have, October was molten lava. Of course, the uh, volcano in Iceland was the inspiration. So beautiful different hues of orange and deep, deep reddish orange, and then everything in between, because the lava flow has all these different colors in it, so I wanted to include different hues. So then we moved into November, and the elusive timber wolf of the northern states was my inspiration i just love these different hues um, of grays with a little specks of brown into the blacks depending on what time of year you catch that timber wolf then we had our december was purple rain uh, of course i don't have to explain this one minnesota is a very purple state and we have a a very personal connection. So we, I love these different hues of this deep, deep purple um, and, and different hues and textures. For January, we did, oh, this one is hard to see. It's frost. So all these really icy light blues, uh, beautiful. It was kind of inspired by the frost on the windows. I know it's hard to see this one up close. There it is. You can see it. Um, so I just love that that when you see those icicles on the windows and this beautiful blue color. So that was December. Feb no, that was January, sorry. February, we did Azalea, one of my favorites. When I go down south and see these in full bloom, beautiful, gorgeous fuchsias. Um, hot, you know, not quite hot pink, but a little bit close. I really love these, these colors. That was a popular one. And then we did Mr. HP's favorite, Lemoncello. This beautiful bright yellow color, which I did include some hue differences as well. 
Um, and then April was our ice out. So this deep navy, blue navy color when the ice is just leaving the water and the water that comes through, it's so cold. And when the water is it's deep, it just has this really cool deep color and it just looks so cold. You do not want to get in. And then of course our latest one, our May color was linen. Beautiful uh, creamy linen colors in different textures and hues. So these are, this is our 12 months of Color Club. Yay! Now I'd love to hear your favorites. Which one was your favorite? I know that's hard to choose. Hard to choose for me. Well, I know we have, we just listed some extra um, linen packs. So then, um, but if you did miss out and if we don't have some of these of your favorites, just know you can also go into our one yards. So if you go into our one yard section and then there is a drop down menu where you can choose and sort your, sort your, um, sort them. And there's one part that says color club. So that will pull up all of the one yards from previous color clubs that we still have in stock. Now we don't have all of them because they are always just available for a, a limited time. Some we have kind of kept on, the real popular ones, but they just check that out. If you're looking for something specific, we do carry them for a short, so, short period of time. Um, so, which makes the chart on the back so valuable that you can go back and know exactly which colors um, you needed or if you wanted to add more. Uh, so they act kind of as a little color chart for you. All right, so Color Club it is. And I um, am so thrilled to, to hear from you guys saying that Color Club was the best thing that you did because I really envisioned it to be something that, you know, builds up your inventory kind of like if you're a painter and you need to have all the all the paint colors you know that are that are available for your art to really come you know come through and so it's the same thing with quilts to have all the colors just makes such a difference doesn't it all right let's take some questions if you have any on the uh, color club do you have any questions popping up can't choose a favorite, they said. Um, can we order the May Color Club? Yes, I believe we just listed some extra of the May. So check out um, that out on the website. And um, let's see if I see any. Love the green and the orange, says Kathy. Hard to choose Purple Rain and Blue Lagoon was, uh, was Debbie's favorite. And love them all, love them all, can't choose. <laughs> love it. Ice Out was a favorite. Um, Love some of the early ones before I joined. Okay. Moss. Moss was a favorite. I know that. That one sold out. Um, so that's great. So yay for Color Club. All right. So um, that being said, let's check out some new fabrics. So I have two new bundles to show you. One of them is a fun, fun Halloween bundle called Halloween Countdown. And it is a glow in the dark so it's very very cool so this is a 10 piece bundle I believe yeah I think it's a 10 piece and so this is one of my favorites these are pumpkins made out of words so there's spider grow boo ogre spooky haunted Halloween um, all these fun words here that create the, the pumpkin and usually when we're talking about glow in the dark fabrics, the, it's the white parts that glow. So this will be fun to see these words glow. Then we have these skulls or uh, skeletons sitting on the moon, chatting with uh, the man on the moon, man, the moon man or whatever they're called. What is, what is the moon man called? <laughs> what, no, 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 no. Never mind. Okay, we got the black cats. So what's going to glow here is the, the skeleton and the whites in here. And then I, I, this one is really spooky and cool. So these um, kind of ghostly witches and some po uh, potions here. 
Uh, love this one. <laughs> All these little signs, keep out, condemned. This will be really fun to have on um, like a, a wall banner or like a bag or something like that. It says danger. So all the words will glow in the dark. Then we have some spiders in this really nice light gray color. And we got a little purple. So we got the witch on her broom. And there's a big cauldron there. She's boiling up something spooky and wicked. And then we have another purple one with all the skulls and the bones in the bone yard. A um, couple more here into a little bit of orange. We have the spooky jack-o'-lanterns. I love the ones with the hat on it. And then finally the bats. Bats with spells out Halloween and skull and crossbones. So this is Halloween Countdown. Super fun, super fun. And then I pulled, did a fabric pull. So I just started with some oranges. Um, I added the jot dot orange because it has various uh, shades of the orange. And then I love the seeds orange, kind of a perfect um, color to go with these. For the purples, I also chose a jot, uh, a jot dot lilac for those lighter to, to, um, hues. And then the dot matrix in the purple. Really love this one too, super fun, fun print. For all the grays, I did some light to dark, so the deco stitch reflection works really well with this, with this um, color gray. So let me just show you kind of the real color, there it is. Um, and then going into the more darker, the chalk and charcoal in the in the charcoal color. So it's chalk and charcoal, charcoal. And then I did one more black to kind of the darkest. So it's, it, this is the chalkboard texture in the black. So it has kind of bits of gray in there. I always love to pull out other Halloween fabrics we have in one yard. So we have the spider webs and the Halloween midnight. That's a perfect black and a great gray that fits very well in here. And then also the stars charcoal from uh, Mystery Manor because it has the orange and it has the gray and some black in there. So, and then of course the gold because we've got the gold moon. Um, and from the same line, the striped fabric from that same line will also work really well with this one. I'm always, you know, I love, as you guys probably have heard before, I love Halloween. I've always collected Halloween fabric. So, uh, honestly, most Halloween lines when I collect them, then I just mis mix and match and you can put them all together and, and just have fun with it. So this is it. This is Halloween countdown and the fabric pull. We will have um, this fabric pull up on the blog later today. Just a little throwing us off being this early, but no worries, it'll be up, it'll be up. So we appreciate you being with us this early. I see that there's a lot of folks on. So we appreciate that for sure. Our other line, brand new line, is a smaller line from a new company. Um, if you may remember, we did a, a small kids collection with them called Playtime, and it was a panel, and we still have that bundle. We, I think, believe we still have some panels. Really cool, it's called, um, the fabric company is called Dashwood, and it's out of the UK, and it's just really unique and beautiful. So. We have, it's called, this line is called New Beginnings, and it's, it's got this gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. So kind of this bluish gray background here with blush, sage green um, colors, and a little bit of that um, mustard color coming through. Here's another print, kind of a spatter all over. I really like this print. This one would be really fun to have in, in basics. Uh, this is eight, so it's an eight piece collection. Um, then we have a little bit lighter gray with these beautiful blooms on them in the blush color with just hints of that um, mustard color. Then we have kind of a medium, almost a little bit sage green in here, but it is, is a, I would list it as a gray. But if you look at it up close, it's gonna kind of got this um, greenish hue to it. But love that it has that direction 
works almost a, like a stripe. Then we have a light floral. Um, let's see, my lighting is, is playing with the colors here now, so I'm trying to show you better. Um, so it's a really nice ivory background with those blush colored blooms. And then we have another light one, uh, this light blush color with the birds, really pretty. I'm um, going to show you the real color if we go up close, there it is. So this almost reads as gold, but it is just this kind of mustard color. Another blush floral with the white blooms and a little bit of that gray in there. And then we have, last but not least, this beautiful mustard print with birds flying together. It's just really, really pretty. Um, and we do have the main print in that dark gray uh, in one yards and also the brush strokes. So this one we both carry in one yards. And then my fabric pole, I kind of just went very subtle in this one. The Bumblebee's Country Gray is that a great match with this color. They're a little bit, we're, they were just a little bit tough to pull because they're very unique colors, very pretty. Um, grunge and the ash, great for that lighter gray. And then for the blush color, the Deco Stitch Pink Powder um, was, is perfect for, um, to match this, these blush colors. And then for the mustard, because it was only one, I pulled two. So the grunge and the caramel. And then the from to the sea, uh, from to the sea fabric line, it's the sand, kind of a tone on tone texture. And um, to match this color here, I pulled this print from Modern Background, the strokes in the white. And that's like a perfect match with this color. So if you wanted to add a plaid, I thought this one would be really fun. The diagonal plaid and the uh, bias plaid in the gray, it has kind of that taupey color in the back and that gr light gray. So it would work really well with this line. So this is New Beginnings from Dashwood. And you know what? If you saw our Midnight in the Garden line, we, st we just got that one in. These tones would work really well together to mix those together. And I was going to grab a bundle to show you, but I, I kind of forgot. So um, it's just really, really beautiful for, um, I, I could see this as a wedding quilt. These kind of colors that are so in right now in weddings and things. All right, so that is our two new bundles for today. Now, um, how about you guys over there? Did you pull some uh, winners from our comments, a winner from our comments? I hope you've been good about commenting because, of course, every show we have uh, one a random commenter that wins a $25 gift card. So our winner of the day is, drum roll please, Elizabeth Bay. Congratulations, Elizabeth. You won a $25 gift card. All you got to do is send us an email to help at geequaldesigns.com and we will send you that gift card to start using right away. Um, so that is it for our show. I hope you enjoyed our, your morning with us. Here's your questions. Oh, there, oh, there's questions. Throw them up. Um, Connor's asking, is there still room to join Color Club? Not right now. We are full as of right now. But we will open up uh, more spots in July. So uh, after July 5th, we will have lots of spots available. So just hold on until July. And in the meantime, you can sign up for notifications so you'll get an email right away when we open those spots up. But unfortunately, because we, we always order fabric so far ahead, we can only have X that many spots at the moment. All right, love Halloween countdown pattern recommendations. Oh, you know, so, so many. It just depends, you know, for, for some of these prints, since they're kind of bigger, you want them to shine, or some of them are, um, I would do something where they can really, you can really see them, like Sammy or Jojo or um, Algorithm. Akira would be good if you don't mind things going 
any which way. There's actually not too many that are directional, which is a great thing. Um, but I, I can also see just, uh, you know, something simple like super size steamy windows or Nina, stuff like that. So uh, just fun, fun Halloween quilts. And you can add a background to these. They're all dark, obviously. You can add a light background and do, do things with it like that, make them stand out. So all kinds of fun stuff. And remember, when we have all of our fa Halloween fabrics in the house, we always have a Halloween show where I show you all the different Halloween uh, lines and we try to make a sample out of every one. So lots of suggestions. Well in time for Halloween. All right, S somebody, was that a comment? Oh, there it is. I'm crazy about glow in the dark fabrics. Wonder how long the glow lasts. Well, you know what? I, I don't really have that answer. I have one, I think two quilts that are made with glow in the dark and washed them both a couple of times and they still glow. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long that lasts um, or, or if there is an expiration date on the glow in the dark, who knows. But um, they still work even after a couple of washings. So that's, that's a good thing. All right, so our next show will be, oh, let's see, any chance you will add more stripology shirts for purchase? Yes, yeah, so we are working on um, designing uh, another set, so we won't carry the same ones. We always try and switch it up a little bit, so there will be more shirts coming we'll later. Two more, two more questions, all right, let's go. Put them up. Um, oh, what book is Two Timer B in? It is in the same book, so the stripology mixology right there with a gray quilt on the cover, same book as the Marina. So that was easy. <laughs> that was not planned actually, but good. And the Valerie, I know I saw a question earlier. Valerie is a single pattern. So that's um, not in a book. I, I never put stuff in a book and single pattern unless the book is sold out or vice versa. All right. Uh, is Marina made with 10 inch squares? Yes, it is. It is. And then some accent fabrics. So the kit will have, um, you know, you can, you need to cut your own squares, which is great because you can then, um, there's enough fabric if you want it to pre-wash in the kit. So uh, it's not, the kit is not cut exactly into 10 inch squares. So you will have room to, to wash or to starch, whatever you want, whatever your preference is. All right, are we good on questions? Awesome. So we are going to be live uh, this coming Tuesday, June 7th at 7 p.m. I have a great topic for you this coming Tuesday. So don't miss that show, our regular time. And then our happy Friday next week is June 10th at our regular time, 3 p.m. So um, I'm thinking that's not going to be a virgin that time. <laughs> will something be something a little more potent. So uh, enjoying, enjoying the summer a little bit. It's cooled down here in Minnesota. Come on, warm back up. Need to warm back up. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I can't complain. It's sunny skies. So have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy yourselves and celebrate the queen or the prince or whoever you want to celebrate, even just yourself with some sewing. So cheers, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.